What's up? Oh, that hurts my back. Ah, oh, I slept on it weird the other night and I woke up like <gasps> What's up everybody? Peter McKinnon here. Welcome back to yet. Yeah, do you think we should just stop doing the what's what's up? Like I don't even really remember where it came from. But people get mad when I just go, what's up, everyone? They're like, yo, there was no, what's up, everyone? I am unsubscribing. What's up, everybody? Peter McKinnon here. Welcome back to yet another video. Filmmaker reacts to crazy Hollywood camera techniques and commercials. 1917, he's running down. They look at the grade on that. Look at the difference. Is this dude on a moped? Just the grade itself, look at that. That's, so that's called shooting day for night, that's sick. A lot of scenes that you think are at night are actually done midday. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how much this dude is hauling? If you had to do that take multiple times, you couldn't. I couldn't, I can't even run to the mailbox and back. Also, let's just point out on this jump at the end. Watch the jump from the top frame. Climbs up onto the wall, jumps, lands. Jumps, watch the bottom frame. Uh, way bigger fall. On the BTS, looks like he jumps from the height of like two apple boxes. In the actual film, it looks like he jumps off like a 30 foot wall. <sighs> Movie magic. Movie magic. Love it. Oh, our boy Steve Geralt. Ooh, did you see that can flipping around? How are they doing that? What is that? Magnets? What are they pushing towards? Oh, it looks like it's on a string pull. No, it's not magnets. It looks like there's a string is being pulled away, which is spinning the can, and that's the camera movement. Wow, that's such a simple, clean setup shot. Why is Steve so amazing at this? Steve, stop it. Okay, next shot. We got some rotating camera rig that's going faster and faster and that's his real life. Is it actually... Is that thing actually spinning that fast? Yo. Oh, so it was spinning so that you get that crazy vortex. Wow. That is such a great idea. So not only do they just bounce, but they bounce and flip around. That is so dope. Let's see here, the ice cubes are falling off the conveyor belt. That thermos pours the coffee in, then milk goes in. I love that the base is then slid in underneath the cup. So if you're watching on that bottom clip now, there's the coffee or whatever the drink is, then the milk comes in or the cream. Bam, you get that cool cloud of awesomeness. And then as it pans back, it's floating. And then the surface is placed in underneath it. That is slick. Everything Steve does is just magical. Pizza, oh! Knife goes through, look at that cheese. Can we talk about this shot right here for a second? It makes like a hammock of cheese. That looks so good. That's gotta be the probe lens right there. We should do some of these. Oh yeah, probe lens. Oh man, that's just so sick. What I love about Steve Jarrell is like, he's just like a big kid in like a mad scientist lab filled with incredible robots. And I got to visit him last year and we did some stuff together and did some BTS. The amount of work that goes into a single shot could be days, days and days, just to get one thing perfectly right. And uh, he's the master of it. There's no one better. There's our boy walking in the background. This looks like one take, starts running. Huge explosions, actual explosions, hauling again. Love the people crossing in front of, down there. I haven't even seen it yet, so I don't hope this doesn't spoil anything for me. How okay, how funny does it look with every like that BTS shot of the car driving and everyone just running in the field behind it? If you were like in a helicopter or you were landing, your flight was landing any anywhere remotely close to this, like it passed over on the way to the airport. Guys, look down below. There's a straight up army chasing that van. Yo, I wonder how loud those explosions are. How is he still running? He's still running from the last clip. <laughs> wow. Hey, Roger Deakins. I don't know you, but... <laughs> Good Lord.
All right, and moving on to the next one. What do we got here? And we'll hit play. Oh, squarespace.com. What do we got? We got templates, award-winning templates. Look at this. Build a beautiful website, super easy, takes zero time. Wow. He does that, right? Like looks off camera. You can sell things. You can, you can get a store, like an online store. You, you can actually sell things. 24 seven customer service. It's an all in one platform. All in one platform. It's all done in one place. No skill required. Typing maybe. Squarespace.com slash McKinnon for 10% off your first purchase. <laughs> that was great. Sponsored by Squarespace. Check them out. Link in description. How'd I do? These aren't even mine. <laughs> That's gross. Okay, next clip, what do we got? The pack shot? We got a tank, we got... Oh, Coors Light, what's up? All right. Oh, falling into the cooler. And then reaches in and grabs one. Like the idea is simple, cans falling into a cooler, someone grabs one out, but the execution of it, like look at this setup, they're all wearing glasses. Probably because that probe lens is F14 or more. So they're probably throwing massive watts of light into that tank, enough that they all need sunglasses. It's so cool to see it, how fast it is in real time, and then how slow it is in playback. I could go for Coors Light right now. They did their job. They did well. All right, next up we have a clip from Jeff Mulstock. Let's take a look at this. I hope I said your name right. I'm really sorry if I didn't. Ooh, is that a staircase? It is. Tell me this is going right down to the bottom of the staircase. Oh man, that makes me so happy. It's so unbelievably satisfying. That reminds me of like Daredevil, those one take clips in Daredevil. There was always like one per season where he would just fight like 30 guys in one solid take. <laughs> All right, next up. We have a dude hauling down a hill in skis, looks like holding a camera package. He is going at warp speed. He is going fast. 90 miles per hour? 90 kilometers per hour. If that guy falls, it's over. Not only for the camera, but most likely himself. That's so dangerous. I wonder how many waivers he signed. ILM VFX. We have Ooh, Mandalorian. A system Let's go. Whereby which we can have game engine, real time render, and video wall technology coming together to create a backdrop for. I thought they were actually on like a set. I thought that clip would have been 100% a set. Look, it just paints itself in. To create Look. a backdrop for oh. the big, beautiful world of Star Wars. To shoot I mean, I should have known. I mean, Star Wars isn't real, so right. Let's just move I wish it was. A little bit. An extraordinary number of benefits and advantages for shooting in that environment. It's mind blowing. It is mind blowing. He just said it himself. It literally looks like he's in those places. And then we would do shoots where we would texture wow. map real lit surfaces onto our game engine geo. And so the camera could move anywhere. As he's pushing this camera cart, the background is like legitimately being painted on. Star Wars. They're doing it right. That is phenomenal. I mean, I never think that he's just in front of a, a screen. I just think light speed's actually happening. Dude, how do we do this? I want to do this. I want my back. I want to be in Mandalorian right now. Imagine the whole background just ooh, and I'm on Tatooine with baby Yoda. I have spoken. I love these videos. Dude, the vortex one, the 360. So sick. The camera robot stuff is good. We have space for a robot. Steve, how do I get a robot? Guys, that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. Hit the like button if you like this video. Smash it if that's something that you're into. 2020 style. Subscribe if you aren't already. And, and I will see you in the next video. Should we do more of these? Should we do more Filmmaker Reacts? Let me know below. If you have good clips, link them. I'd love to watch them. See you in the next one. Magneto. Mm. We have some clips lined up on my phone that I'm going to be watching. Hear that? This dude thinks he's in Fast 9. Do you have your butterfly knife? Oh, he's got it in his... He's got it in his jeans, this guy. Is that how many there are? Nine now? Or is there like Fast 13? Or is it just like...
They're gonna be like Survivor, aren't they? Like, fast 30. <laughs> Something like that. It'll bother me if I don't get it. Don't Dwayne Johnson and Vin Diesel like hate each other or something? That'd be a great movie, just like who can do more push-ups. The whole thing. I'm team Dwayne Johnson, bro. I didn't know if I should one-hand it, then I just thought I should one-hand it. Nearly missed, hit myself in the face. Mm. Ah! Ah!